All right. We are live. Hopefully. I had to let my dog outside, and he talked fucking forever. Right? Okay. Let's see. Make sure everything's going. I think I made the audio a bit louder, because... I'm looking at, like, my past streams, and for some reason, they're quieter than I want them to be. So, I'm gonna turn up that audio a bit. For Ace Attorney, it shouldn't be too loud, right? Okay, continue. Episode 5, The Venture of the Unspeakable Story. Trial Part 1. Oh, shit, we're starting the trial? Damn, I am not in a... I'm not in a good spot to be starting a trial right now. <laughs> it's been how many weeks since I touched this game? Oh man. Between just unexpected family visits and fucking and holiday and fucking uh and just last week with my PC just fucking acting up. It is just very hectic. Very hectic indeed. Right? But we're finally back. Oh shit, just realized something. See, this is what happens when you don't have time to prepare, right? I didn't change the overlay. Let me do that now. Let me do that right now. Usually I have time to sit down and do that. My dog distracted me this time around. Can't start the playthrough without the right overlay, can we? I mean, we can, but it's not, it's not why you're here. Where the fuck? Oh. It's within a folder. It's in a folder within a folder. That's what happens when you have to yank a bunch of files off of off of an off of your PC while it's dying. You just don't know where the hell they all go. Um and you forget what you named them. So you can't just look them up easily. Where the hell What the hell did I name it? Let me see. Nope, that's too far. Where? Where are you? Oh, here it is. There we go. That's way better. Now we're in the mood. Now we're doing it right. All right. <clears throat> when I woke up the following morning, Susato san was already gone. Outside the window, the rain came down in, the sh in sheets. And so it began an even longer day than the last, one that I would remember for the rest of my days. Seventeenth of April, nine thirty-two a.m. The Old Bailey defendants antechamber. If I remember correctly, what happened last on our adventures was that we had to run around a lot. Right? We learned. Well, we officially learned that Mister uh, Mister Wilson, I think his name is, was uh, was uh, what's her name's father. For some reason, I can't. Why is Why is her name? Why is her name skipping me? I want to call her Sarah for some reason. Her name's not Sarah. You know, the small one. <laughs> the small one. Right, we're representing Gina here. Gina Lestrade. What's your name? Young one. Iris. Why am I forgetting that? Sasato had to go home because her, uh, her father took ill and she has to go deal with that. Herlock Shums got shot, and within his almost dying breaths, he said, Quick, Ryanosuke, go chase the man who shot me. Go get shot yourself. Wait, okay. Pop Wendy Banks over here was very gung-ho about shooting himself, and then somehow someone else shot him. Uh, Eg Egbert Benedict is some jackass that just showed up and tried to steal shit, tried to pull one over us. I'm not calling him Egbert, though. That's Chad. That's Chad right there. That's Chad Wellington. Right? I still feel like Strongheart is evil. It doesn't escape me. Every time I look at him, every time he speaks, it's like, you're evil. You're an evil guy. You have to be an evil guy. Look at you. Your face spells evil. Right? And do we not have a... Uh... We don't have uh What's his name here on the thing? Mr. Reaper? <laughs> I, I forgot everyone's names. Oh no. 
But anyways, Sasada's back home, so maybe this time we can do a trial without someone in our ear 24-7 going, Ryanosuke, what if you tried this? And it's like, it's like, shut up, I got it. Stop telling me what to do. I'm smart, I can do it myself. I'm, I'm a good lawyer. Good morning, Gina. Oh, come on, Gina, don't be like that. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm determined to prove your innocence today. I'm sure we can do it. So, where's your friend then? She went home. She told you she was going home. You know this already. Sorry. You know, her in the fancy dress. Uh, Serato or whatever you say it. I don't know. Uh, Mrs. Sato had to leave early this morning. She was already gone by the time I woke up. She fucking body slammed me and I passed out. Oh yeah, apparently she had like a little rendezvous with, um, with her lock. With her lock shlomes in the middle of the night, so she had something important to tell him. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna come into play later. Oh, also, yeah, uh, we're... Gina's being, uh, Gina's being, um, what you call it? Framed for the murder of Pop Wendy Banks, right? It seems like she's being framed. We still have yet to uncover the true identities of the two people who, uh, who were in the pawnbrokers that night. And what else was there that I'm trying to remember? Oh yeah, apparently this is all connected to the trial, what, like three months ago or something like that? In game time, three months ago with uh, Mr. McGilded? And, uh, what's his name, Thrice Fired? Right? Apparently it's all connected. Mr. McGilded apparently is guilty, which is like the most easiest read in the world. You think I'm guilty, don't you? Yes, yes I do. Forget about me if you like. Wait, what? Forget about me if you like. Go and see her off. It's fine. She's already gone. It's not as though Mrs. Sato and I won't meet again, one day. Even so. But you, Gina. You only get one chance. One chance. I felt like there was a joke in there somewhere. And then I lost it. I lost my train of thought. Damn it. Is this what you guys like? Is this what you like? This is what Twitch tells me. Twitch tells me that people like two things about me. They like my, what, responsiveness? I think that was what they fucking said. And the other one was, they like my, uh... They like my cut, G. No. Was, uh... <laughs> was that they like my humor? It was like, your audience likes your responsiveness and your humor. I'm like, A, I'm not funny. B, responsiveness my ass. I only fucking stream two times a week. And that's if I don't fucking get interrupted by a bunch of other bullshit in my life, right? You only get one chance to live, girl. This Isn't that the name of a soap opera? Anyways, this trial today is all we have. Good morning to you. Who's that, Iris? Are you allowed to bring a cat in the fucking courts with you? How you feeling, Jenny? Did you manage to sleep? Iris, what are you doing here? What do you mean? When a friend's in need, we show our support. There's no age limit on people who can attend a, uh, on people who can attend a, um, a court session, right? Like, there's no age limit on that. You can just walk in, right? Isn't that right, Waggy? You're just gonna let him run free? Oh, God. Great way to show your support, kitty. He said, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Let him have a nose around. What arm can he do? That's gonna come to play later, isn't it? Oh, that reminds me. I bought a paper on the way here. Now, would you like the good news or the bad news? Mm, bad news first. What do you say, Reno? Ginny? Oh, well, I think I'd rather get the bad news out of the way first. Nah, always take the good news first. You might not live to hear the bad. <laughs> you know what? You're kind of right about that. You want, hey Sparky, you want the good news or the bad news? Give me the bad news. The bad news is you ain't gonna live to see the good news. Bang! <laughs> no shit. The good news is I'm two times richer now. <laughs> I don't know. Now nah, I always take the good news first. You might not live to hear the bad. Yes, that question always gives away people's personalities. Let's not go there. Let's not- stop picking my brain, Iris. 
Alright then, I'll give you the bad news first. A record amount of rain has fallen this morning and carries all over the capital. Wait, what? Oh, carries. And carriages all over the capital are struggling to move. Huh? The bad news? Was a weather report? No, not that weather report. Stop it, JoJo fans. It's not a reference. So, I hope that Susie made her train to, do, uh, to Dover and that the train isn't delayed on its way to the port. Gosh, yes. Alright then, so what's the good news? Well, the rain's forecast is subtle... is... Uh, well, uh, subtle. My, my brain's doing the thing already. You know what? I... I... You know what? I might as well find someone who can do a test on me and just be like, Do you have... Do you have... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um... Shit. <laughs> I can't even remember the name of the fucking illness. Uh... Starts with a D. You know? When you can't read shit. Dyslexia. Yeah. I might... I might actually need that. <laughs> it happens too much. My brain, like, autocorrects words when they don't need to be corrected. Well, the rain forecast is forecast to subside at, uh, this afternoon. So even if the train is delayed, it should be able to make up the time later. Well, that is good news, isn't it? I couldn't give a monkey's ass, really. <laughs> she wants to say it. If only good news canceled out the bad. And look, this trial had made the headlines too. Pawnbroker perishes and per and pick purse plunder. See? How'd you like that? Well, let them say what they want. See if I care. I can't because you're covering your face. Don't worry. You and I will soon show everyone that this headline is nonsense. I will. And then in tomorrow's papers, the headlines will be. Discharged driver. What? Driver. Discharged diver is daunt. Fuck. God damn it. Discharged diver is dauntless do gooder. Isn't that right, Reno? Alliteration is killing me. Oh, yeah. Let's hope so. Of course they will. I have absolutely. Absolutely. I have absolute faith in you. How was that? I was trying to sound like Susie. Did it work? Did it? It's like she was still here. Today's paper has been entered into the court record. Ah, oh, this is gonna be important, isn't it? Good luck then, Reno. I'll do what I can. Hmm? Obviously, I don't know the law like Susie does, but still. I'll shoot anyone who doesn't agree. <laughs> I'll be by your side the whole time, give you moral support and encouragement. I'm not sure that big thing is, a comf is as comforting as you think it is be honest, but... Thank you, Iris. That's very kind of you. Oh, yeah, Iris. Yes, Jenny? Well, I was wondering, is all, about Shlomes. Did they fix him up all right? Yeah. The operation was a great success. But, Hurley still hasn't come around yet. You mean he has? Wait, what? <laughs> How does he? What? Wasn't he talking to? Wasn't he talking to to Sasato the other time? Wasn't he like fully wide awake? He's bullshitting. He's hiding. He's hiding something. Eh? I've asked a friend of mine at Scotland Yard to send a telegram as soon as he wakes up. I'm sure, Gregson will let us know the moment there's news. Oh, right. You know, Sasato-san, and no Mr. Sloan's. It's all down to me today to prove that G Gina is innocent of the crime. Miss Gina Lestrade, counsel for the defense, the trial is about to begin. Please make your way into the courtroom. It's time then. Yes, let's go, Gina. Iris? Lead the way, Runo. Poor Gina. She's trying to put on a brave face, but I can tell she's worried and scared. I have to believe in her from the start to finish. That's the weapon that we secure our victory here. Wait, what? That's the weapon that... Okay, that we? Why did I say we? That will secure our victory here. If you look closely at... If you look closely at, uh... 
Kazuma's back here. Kazuma? Kazuya? What the fuck was your name? Kazuma, right? If you look at his back, you look at a little star pattern, it reminds you of Kill a Kill. He's a one star. <laughs> if I learned anything from my great friend, is that... Oh, hey, SP. How's it going? Hope everything's been chipper and cheer with you. Chipper and cheer, is that even like a term I can use? 17th of April, 10 a.m., the Old Bailey Courtroom. In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session. You okay? That's nice. How is, uh, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're in America. <laughs> you might not be. You'd be surprised how many people watch my stuff that aren't in America. It, it surprises me. Um, how's your, uh, 4th of July, if that's what you celebrate? Hopefully you had a good amount of hamburgers and hot dogs. Or just a good uh, dinner in general. This trial shall determine the guilt of or innocence of Miss Gina Lestrade. I now call upon the counsel for the pres uh, the, 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 for the prosecution and defense to declare their willingness to proceed. The prosecution is ready. The defense is ready. Lord Von Zykes. My lord. Remind me, how many years ago was it that you withdrew from the Public Prosecution Service? It was some five years ago, my lord. Just beat Resident Evil 4 for, for the, I believe, 42nd time. <laughs> I go to Resident Evil 4 sometimes. Sometimes you just need to sit down, pull up a game you played 50 times before, and just have fun with it, right? I mean, I'm kind of doing that right now with uh, Xenoblade 2. I know Xenoblade 3 comes out this month, towards the end of this month. And I still need to get, like, all the blades unlocked or whatever in Xenoblade 2. Like, all the, uh, you know, extra characters and stuff. So I'm doing my little new game plus and I'm just... Dealing with its weird gotcha system that they put in a fucking single player JRPG for some goddamn reason. I don't know why they did that. But, you know. The first roll I did, got the hardest blade to get in the game. And now I'm just sitting there and I'm like, how many rolls is it gonna take me to fucking get, uh, get like the rest? And then I gotta unlock Shulk and all those other motherfuckers. It was some five years ago, my lord. Yes. And then two months ago, you resurfaced somewhat unexpectedly. And here you are again today. Are there some circumstances of which the court should be aware that I have that have led to this erratic behavior? And what might this and what the fuck and what one might describe as your former life five years past? You dealt exclusively in matters concerning with the highest echelons of society and government. Really? Yet today you choose to try a simple case of burglary and murder. Mierde! <laughs> Moida? Did somebody say Moida? Sometimes you just gotta bring out that little Bugs Bunny like dialect, you know? Just go Moida. Took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. I confess, I find it more than a little befuddling, Counsel. I'm a prosecutor, motherfucker. Does it really matter? There are two types of persons I cannot abide. Firstly, those wealthy scoundrels who'd hide behind masks of philanthropy to cheat the public at large. He means Mr. McGill did, who you defended against the Reaper two months ago. Yes, I just about managed to work that out. Thank you. Magnus McGill did. If I know what a monster he was, I never would have defended him. And secondly, even more loathsome. He's gonna say the people that defend them, right? Those willy scoundrels who masquerade as allies only to affect, only to, wow, only to affect total betrayal in the final hour. In other words, the confident tricksters from those tiny islands in the far east, the Nipponese. So you're just racist, right? <laughs> like, everyone here is just racist. Why are you here? Well, there are two people I can't stand. The liars with the big money. And those fucking people over there. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what? Did he really just say that? 
He means you now, Bruno. I know that. I actually managed to work that out too. Thank you, Iris. Total betrayal? What are you talking about? That tore a look of hatred in Lord Von Zyke's eyes. Was that directed solely at me? Was he talking about all Japanese people? An alarming, scathing explanation, Lord Von Zykes. Still, the Justiciary welcomes. The, did I say that right? Yeah, Justiciary welcomes the return of this so-called Reaper of the Bailey, feared by all London's malefactors. Your lordship is too kind. Now, jurors, the six of you have been selected at random to represent the will of the people in this trial. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Okay. Wait, is that- that's the same old man before, he's a doctor? Okay. The maid's back. That guy's new, I think, but I feel like- I feel like he might be evil for some reason. The dude- oh my god, that's- that's- isn't that a dictator? <laughs> All the way on the right? Isn't that guy like the Russian dictator or something from the beginning of the game? He's in here. He's hiding. Oh my god. Former lieutenant in the British Army here. Do you know? Chaps like me were born ready. Clean crocky. Clean cluttery. Uh, I... What? Clean clock, uh, crockery, clean cuttery, and clean... Con I can What? <laughs> my mind is broken. And clean con uh, consents. Consents? Concise? Fuck. Why don't I know that word for some reason? His lordship's motto is very appropriate here, I think. Clean conscious, my bad, that was the word, right? Everything will be stereoscopic in the future. Absolutely, absolutely everything. I'm ready for it. I don't understand it. I can't have left it there. It's not possible. But could I have? Women indispensably, what? Women indispensable in society. Stop female. Centric future awaits. Stop. Why is she talking to me in Morse code? Good day. Item. <laughs> Just start doing a super racist Russian accent. Good day. I'm. I'm. What the fuck? W wasting? Wasting? What? Okay. I am wasting London for sightseeing. I would like to take bus to Crystal Tower, please. Oh, you want to head to the Crystal Tower? Just, you know, buy that, uh, just start playing some Final Fantasy XIV, you know what I mean? We have a dictator in the jury. Is something wrong, Runo? Oh, not exactly. It's just, uh, I'm fairly sure I recognize these juries, uh, jurors. Almost all of them, in fact. Especially that one. Really? Funny coincidence. Like that, uh, funny coincidence like that to- uh, Fuck, I can't- I lost my ability to read. What the hell? I'm gonna take a drink of my water. Maybe, like, calm my nerves a bit. What the hell? My water's only been sitting here for, like, a minute and all the ice has melted. That's so unfair. Really? Funny coincidence like that do happen from time to time, don't they? It really do be like that sometimes, huh? But it's quite strange. The jurors are clo uh, chosen at random from London's six million inhabitants, you know? So, I've been led to believe. Or something tells me I'm being duped. Very well. Now, Lord Von Zykes. The court calls upon the prosecution to introduce the facts of the case. As you wish, my lord. Allow me to begin with a word of warning to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury. In short, there has never been a more self-evident case of cold-blooded murder. The victim, Mr. Pop Windy Banks, proprietor of the pawn shop on Baker Street, was shot from behind and died instantly. The prosecution presents this photograph print of the crime scene. Look at this photograph. As the court will observe, there's a single bullet wound just below the gentleman's left shoulder. The evidence suggests that the bullet pierced the man's heart, resulting in near death. 
Near instant death, my bad. Moving on to the findings of Scotland Yard's coroner. His reports state that the bullet entered the body on the on a rising a diagonal trajectory. Trajectory. For some reason I had a hard time saying that. I'm just looking at my audio real quick, making sure that it's not like being all weird and shit. And what's that supposed to tell us? It means the victim was likely shot by someone significantly shorter in height than himself. Someone like the accused, you might say. Oh. The prosecution wishes to present the autopsy report and crime scene photograph as evidence, my lord. Indeed, the court accepts. Hand them to the bailiff, please. The autopsy report has been added to the court records. Crime scenes have been added to the court records. All right, I'll take a look at those later. I now ask the court to turn its attention to this plan of the establishment where the incident occurred. The proprietor was found in the storeroom where he kept articles pawned to him. A windowless room with a single point of entry, a door to the main shop that was found locked. In this sealed chamber, there are only two persons present. The victim, Mr. Windybanks, and the accused. It may further interest the court to know that when the accused was discovered at the scene, she had her hand, uh, she had in her hand the gun used to fire the fatal bullet. Well, that's that then, isn't it? Nothing more to say. Isn't that grubby little girl a pickpocket anyways? She's one of those filthy drabs that live in the slums in the East Ends. Oh well, it was only a matter of time before she got blood on her hands then. What are you jurors waiting for? Objection. That girl's guilty. We can't just jump to conclusions here. We mustn't assume her guilt because of what she has to do to survive. Time to get buzzed in the courtroom. My learned Nipponese friend. Oh, you started to say friend that time. You are racist. <laughs> it is you who mustn't jump to conclusions. The prosecution has barely begun presenting its case. Okay. Conveniently, this appalling act of murder did not go unobserved. There were witnesses. Good gracious. After their testimony, this girl's true nature will be exposed. Pitiful pig purse or cold-hearted killer. Here's to establish the truth. Witness my ass. The only witness was me and the people who were shot and the people who did the shooting. Hand them to the bailiff, please, Lord Von Zykes. For some reason, I skipped the other uh, sentence. I don't know why I did that. At once, my lord. Crime scene floor plans have been added. Woody Banks revolvers has been added. Revolvers. Multiple. Revolver has been re uh, added. This isn't good. I feel like the mood in here has turned very gloomy all of a sudden, Bruno. You'll get used to it, Iris. I think that's because it has. Let us begin. Bring forth the witnesses to the foul murder of Mr. Pop Winnie Banks on 16th April of this year. And who are these witnesses? The most shadiest looking motherfucker. What? Why are you on the stand? Why is Gregson on the stand? Witnesses, state your name and occupations for the court. Name's Nash Scullin. Nash Scullin. <laughs> They're beady eyes. Look at these fucking murderers. Oh my god. Name's Nash Scullin. Occupation is, um, baddie. Professional baddie. Name's Ringo Scullin. Occupation is, uh, same as, same as him. Tobias Gregson. Scotland Yard Inspector. That's right. Uh, where what they uh, where what they're called? The Three Scullin Brothers. What? Gregson. What are you looking at me for? Don't let me in with you, lot. 
Cool, blimey. That's cold. Don't you know what we, uh, what we, oh, fuck. What we're going through? Through? What we're going through? It's our older bruv. Lost contact with him, we have. So, we're scouring every shady corner of the capital. And then last night, we came across you. The very spittle, uh, very spit, spittle, spittle the bloke? What the fuck are with these accents? They are gonna be the death of me. Ain't that right, Ringo? Aye, it is, Nash. Aye, it is. It's very spit of them. So we decided that... We decided that... What the fuck? So we decided there's... They're in... Oh, fuck. We decided they're in... Then what we was gonna do. We was gonna call ya. <laughs> Who you gonna call? Big bruv Scully. Come on. Leave it out, you two. Scully skulking. These, these fucking names. All right, Scully skulking, and that's before he runs out of chips. Well then, Inspector Scully Gregson. Beg your pardon, my lord, but my name's Tobias. Uh, what I would like to know, Inspector, is what are you doing in the witness stand? The Skulkin brothers are currently under arrest, my lord, on suspicion of theft. Hmm. Thieves, are they? These three? No, my lord. Begging your pardon. Please don't let me in with this lot. Two nights ago, these two brothers allegedly entered an establishment with intel to burgle. And in the course of their nefarious activities, they became embro em embroiled in a far more sinister crime. By Jove, you mean to say... What an extraordinary coincidence. Indeed, my lord. While attempting to burglarize the pawnbrokery, they witness its proprietor's murder. He's standing on a box. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. It makes me think of Tom Cruise. Doesn't Tom Cruise, like, stand on a box whenever he has to do his movies and shit because he's so fucking short? The various uh, trespasses of these brothers is not the subject of today's proceedings. Though, they will naturally face trial in the very near future. With your lordship's permission, I'd like to remain in the stand to keep these gent on the straight and narrow. Of course, Inspector. Oh shit, raid with 12. Oh shit, it's by Sushi again. Hey Sushi, how's it going? You finished, um... You finished the Persona playthrough, right? Oh, by the way, I finally got my, uh... My, uh, my alert to work for my raids. I finally got that working. Yeah, but, uh, thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. We are currently on the, um, I guess the final trial of, uh, the first game for the Great Ace Attorney, uh, Chronicles. You did not finish Persona yet. What were you? You were just playing Genshin, right? If I remember correctly. Of course, Inspector. Uh, fuck. Sp I'm sorry, I, I lost my, my fucking... My train, my train of thought for a moment there. I had a good moment. Yeah, Genshin today? I wish I could get into Genshin, but the gotcha system just gets me every goddamn time, you know? I look at it and I'm like... I'm like, there's no way I'm playing the game every day. I already play Final Fantasy XIV. I already play like Dead by Daylight and all this other shit that you have to come and check out every once in a while, but yeah. <laughs> it's really bad with the, yeah. Oh man. And they're just like, don't you want, aren't they releasing like two new games as well? The Genshin people, they, they even changed like their, uh, they changed their, uh, their company name, right, too, to be like, to be Genshin or something? I think they literally just go by Genshin now. Yeah, they're a big company. Yeah, a lot of way better ways to spend your time. <laughs> I mean, as long as you're having fun, is it, you know, you get to spend your time however the hell you want. You know? The Hoyoverse now, that's what they're calling themselves. Oh, yeah. They have those two games. They have one that's like a turn-based RPG, I think. And then there's the other one that's like a, it's like urban fantasy or something like that. Right? It had like that fucking furry guy in it. Looks like he just came out of like a fucking 
He looked like he just came out of a goddamn Jet Set Radio version of Star Fox. <laughs> right? But yeah, welcome guys. Uh, if you if you like visual novels, this is what we're doing tonight. <laughs> I gotta finish this game, because if I don't, I won't be able to do any more playthroughs. Oh man. But if you don't like visual novels, on my YouTube channel, there's a bunch of archive shit, right, that I just uploaded. Ratchet and Clank, Simulacra. Simulacra is kind of like a visual novel, I guess. Uh, the Persona 4 Golden playthrough. Those are, that's a long playthrough. That got archived today. And a bunch of Pokemon bullshit, so, yeah. Every Genshin player is absolutely awful. The Genshin system is trash. The new characters are trash. The <laughs> arenas are trash. Anyways, you should totally play with me. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. I remember Prinny. Good to see you, too. I gotta ask, Prinny, are you a mod for sushi? I feel like you're a mod for sushi. You know, whenever I pop my head in a little bit, I always see that you're there. They have Honkai Impact, Zenless Zone Zero. Zenless Zone Zero, that's the one. And they're working on Honkai Star... Star Rail? Yeah. Uh, you are a mod for sushi. Okay, all right. Well, let's get back to the trial. Because if I don't, I'm going to be here forever. <laughs> all right, of course, Inspector. Uh, spe spectacles as I'm about... Spectacle? What the fuck? Spectacle as I'm about the collabor... By the way, I'm terrible at reading, so... Good luck, good luck to me, I guess. Of these witnesses, I will permit to take them to the stand. Mr. and Mr. Scullin. You will now testify before the court. Describe the events of the night in question, and what exactly you saw. Good luck with reading all this. I mean, I survived, uh... I survived the first, the first three, um... Phoenix Wright games. Which, that's archived on my YouTube channel as well. You can check that out. My YouTube channel is right on the screen there, where the little YouTube icon is. Right? You can check that out. Yay. Um, yeah, words are hard. Words scare me, actually. Right? That mixed with, like, anxiety from streaming. A buddy of mine is obsessed with Honkai Impact. Honkai Impact's the mobile one, right? That's the one you gotta play on your phone. <laughs> know how painful it is to read walls of text. See? Just gotta make sure to have some water on hand. I actually do. You know, whenever I do, I find it very weird because myself personally, like in my day-to-day -day life, I'm very quiet. I'm not a talkative person, right? For some reason, people say they like my voice. I don't know why. I think those people are weird. Um, <laughs> in a good way, right? Uh, and I know early days of streaming, and even when I don't stream for a while, my voice gets a little hoarse, I guess. Um, you know, after I do streams, especially streams like Persona and the first three Ace Attorney stuff that I did, and then somehow I always end up doing something that's like a fucking visual novel. I even did the Corpse Party games, right? The only one that I haven't do, well... There's two of them I haven't done yet. It's, uh, it's, uh, what's her name? Sachiko's Birthday Bash, which is like a, it's like a non-canon game, so I, I'm not too worried about it. And then the other one is, um, the last one that came out, Corpse Party 2, Dead Patient, Deadly Patient, I think. I think I'm going to do that this Halloween because, I mean, it's the only last one left, right? So, might as well do that. And always on Halloween, I like to do something for Scooby-Doo because I love Scooby-Doo. Happy to. Cause the skeleton never, cause the skullins never skullin. What the fuck? <laughs> what does that mean? But I do have water on on hand. I have water and I have coffee. Coffee's probably the worst choice because that dehydrates you. But I love it though. All right, witness testimony. Illegal entry. We was walking down Baker Street in the small hours, and the gaff door was ajar. You see. It was like some kind of sign, begging for us to go in and watch. But once we got inside, call a blimey lump- Lumpley? What the hell? We heard a gunshot from the back of the room. We went to see what's what. Uh, what? We went to see what was what. What's what's what. But the door was locked from the inside. This reminds me of fucking Persona 3. You know, uh, the foreign exchange student? What's his name? Bebe? 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 And every time you talk to him, he's like, Oh, it's it's a lovely day. Nice to see you. Right? And it's like, fuck, I love you, but God, I hate talking to you. <laughs> we never had nothing, Governor. 
We never done nothing, Governor. We never took nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't say nothing. I ain't do nothing. We just left after that, nice and quiet like. I don't believe that. I don't believe that because Holmes got shot. So, and I almost got shot too. But that's because Shalom's told me to chase the guy with the gun when I had nothing on me, so. Hmm, terribly, a terrible coincidence, it would seem. At the precise moment, uh, at the precise moment, this, this uh, miscreant entered the property. An ever, an ever more sinister crime was afoot. The witness testimony is consistent with the crime scene in every detail. <laughs> Baby and disease, I know, right? The, the door providing access to the storeroom from the main shop was indeed locked from the inside. And within, only the victim and the accused were found. He looks like a weird Kakyoin? Who, Bebe? Or the fucking, or the, or the guys on the stand. I must say, it doesn't, it does appear to be an overwhelmingly simple case. No, the prosecutor? What do you mean he looks like a weird cat? Oh, you mean, uh, Lord Von Zykes. Really? You think he looks like Cat Killing? I think Cat Killing's, like, more skinny, right? Despite the, despite the fact that Cat Killing's, like, a fucking, what, 16, 17 year, 17 year old that looks like a grown ass man, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like, somehow he's still, like, skinny? You know? Maybe it's my brain. No, I, I can see it. He has that same, like, I mean, compared to everyone else in this game who, you know, who has more, like, rounder fe features on their face, his is more, like, you know, more angled, I guess, is more chiseled, right? Still, the defense may cross-examine the witness now, of course. Counsel, if you please. He actually looks like he's 25, but super tall, JoJo Part 3. Oh, man. I can't talk about JoJo Part 3 because everyone hates when I talk about po uh, JoJo Part 3 because... I think Jojo Part 3 is not the best Jojo Part. I think it's the worst. That's right, I said it. <laughs> What's the matter, Runo? Sorry, I, uh... It's not the best yet. Thank you. Thank you. Someone who fun. Someone who finally agrees with me, right? Like, you talk to everyone, and they go, and they go, Jojo Part 3's the best. You're wrong. Jojo Part 1's the worst. And I'm like, I'm like, let me just, let me just put it to you guys like this, right? Hold up. Now you got me started. <laughs> let me just put it to you like this, right? Uh, later with Jojo Parch, my square. I fucking, I love the later Jojo shit. It's great. Especially when, when Bucciarati's out there licking up your boy, you know? You can tell someone's lying by their sweat. It's salty. <laughs> it's the dumb as shit. But, um, part, part three, right? Part three and part one. Let's just compare those two for a hot moment. Your main story for part three doesn't really start until the ending of part three. There is very little actual story that goes on in part three until you get to the ending of part three. If you never watched part one, part three never actually properly expa explains who the fuck Dio is. They just say, oh yeah, he's a... Uh, He's a villain of our ancestors and stuff. We gotta go fight him, right? And that's literally all it is. Meanwhile, part one is this fucking like multi-year long fucking rivalry that goes on between uh, Jonathan and Dio, right? And then it all like, and the perfect way to explain Dio happens when they finally confront him and Jonathan says, okay, man, if you're not lying, then just swear on your name. And then Dio is just so fucking prideful that he can't tell one simple lie. Fucking dude, <laughs> dude, right? That's all you need. That's all you need. Part three has a little rich uh, colonizer vibe. What do you mean by that? And the rhythm is weird. Part three really thinks you've seen part, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> also, let's not forget that Joseph is friends with the Nazi, okay? <laughs> Scumbag. Like, we let's go and visit the non-Western world. Oh, yeah, kind of, yeah. 
Yeah. 30 days. Make it to Egypt. Head to Cairo. I was just stunned in si uh, into silence for a minute by the blatant lies being told by the pair in the stand. I know that it's all nonsense, but I saw it with my own eyes. But he has a cool mechanical hand, so it's totes okay. Who has a cool mechanical hand? Oh, you mean Joseph? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Joseph. He just comes back and he's all like, oh yeah, I'm alive, by the way. Oh, me and Susie got married. <laughs> let's not let's let's forget that he had the hots for his moms for like a hot second you know watching her watching her bathe through the keyhole what a fucking what a fucking degenerate that guy is i just have to expose it and then he cheats on his wife okay i'm done i'm done i can't i can't talk about it i can't talk about it no more <laughs> i just have to expose their testimony for the fact i'll save the jojo talk for when i do fucking um either eyes of heaven um, the last stand user, uh, fight, uh, what's it called? Heritage for the future or fucking, uh, what's the other game? All-Star Battle. Oh, and there's a translated version for the Japanese only PS2 game where you play it, where you play part five. So I'll probably fuck around with that one day. By the way, speaking of All-Star Battle, that game used to be super rare. It's not worth shit anymore. And I'm kind of mad about it. Because now one of the rare games in my collection just isn't worth jack shit anymore. I hate it. <laughs> done, you say? Hi, done. <laughs> but anyways, I'll talk about JoJo when I get to JoJo. I'm definitely going to have to play All-Star Battle before the re-release happens, though. I'll just have to expose their testimony for the pack of lies it is. Alright. Get me started on JoJo, will you? Okay, walk down Baker Street in the small hours. Throw was a jar. Like some kind of sign, begging us for a steal. But once we got inside, blimey, we heard gunshots. We went to see what was what, but the door was locked. We never done nothing, Governor. We never took nothing. We never, uh, we ne what? We just left after that, nice and quiet. Bullshit. Wasn't like a bunch of shit broken in there when we went in there? It was like three weeks since I last played this game, so I'm still kind of sketchy on some of the, on some of the, uh, whatchamacallit, details. You didn't do or take anything, is that your story? Well, it was, it was Bed Bedlam? Bedlam soon as, Bedlam soon as we're in it. What the fuck? I don't even know. Is that English? It was Nash, it was. Didn't even have time to pull me dukes out, me lucky lock, me lucky lockets. So, with no time to take your hands out of your pockets, you just left. Nice and quietly, you say. Please pick a new game for you to play. A number from 1 to 6, if I will. Hmm. Can't go wrong with number 4. We are, Nash, we are. Never even pulled my dukes out, me lucky lockets. So, you clearly like us to believe. Eh? Come again. As you fled from the pawnbrokers that night, did you not run into anyone else? Uh... Now that I look at this guy, he he's a green Waluigi. <laughs> look at him! And did you not fire a gun at that person? Hmm. Saints alive. They fired a gun, you say? Uh-huh. Blimey, Governor. You ain't telling us. It was you in the doorway. It was. Why's the bleed? Oh, uh, why the bleeding, Nora? Nora? Didn't you mention that before? You were armed with a gun. And as you fled the scene, you fired the gun. At London's great detective, Herlock Sholmes. Herlock Sholmes? Why I say it like that? Sholmes. They shot Slums. I did hear that, actually. There was a rumor that he rushed to the hospital. The great Slums. That's beyond the pale. Let's see. <laughs> I'm at seven, if that changes your answer. Well, one more number might change everything, so I guess we can kind of run through my head a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sequels always tend to be good. Number two. 
on the night in question. Unless you're Last of Us. Yeah, that's right. I went there. <laughs> you want to fight me? Knives and bats in the streets now. This pair were arrested by the police within minutes of the discovery of the crime scene. Your suspicious uh, counter stance rapidly gave them away. And then searched. And then searched. And when searched, a firearm was indeed found in their possession. Furthermore, the barrel shows signs of a shot having been fired from it. XCOM Chimera Squad. Good pick, sir. Good pick. What were the other choices? I don't know what the other choices were. I still gotta play XCOM. Oh, at least one game that I guess is somewhat rare in my collection is XCOM The Bureau. I have that on the PS3. I think that was a PS3 exclusive. It might have been on 360. I'm not sure. Prosecution uh, invites his lordship to examine the firearm recovered by these brothers. Yes, indeed. Remnants of powder around the muzzle, as you say, counsel. The court will hold this weapon as evidence. The Skulkin brothers' gun have been entered into the courtroom. Now, my learned Nipponese friend. Yes? Here's to you successfully presenting the evidence. I fell for your trap, didn't I? For yes, there are the telltale signs of spent powder on this gun and a single bullet missing from the cylinder. But the prosecution demands evidence that it was fired at the scene of the crime under scrutiny in this trial. Objection. See. Spit, uh, spit, why, why was I, I was about to say spitfire. Spiritfarer, fairer, fearer, farer. I know the game, but I just can't say it. XCOM Sleeping Dogs Road 96. I want to play Road 96, actually. Gaijin 3, Stanley Parable, and Nino Kuni Revenant Kingdom. Is this to stream, or is this for a personal playthrough? Because if it was to stream, you lucked out on not picking um, Nino Kuni Revenant Kingdom, because there is a part in that game that becomes very tedious, and if you were to stream that, it would probably ruin the playthrough right and all in that order as well Stanley Parable, Parable might be okay the stream if people are into that right well people are always into anything Spirit Fair is pretty good Sleeping Dogs is good I think the original version of Sleeping Dogs is good I'm not sure if the remaster is good I think the remaster might have some hiccups here and there and I don't know with the uh, with, Gu, with Gujan Gujan Gaijan 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 I don't know what Gaijin 3 is. I really don't. For, for some reason, I read it and my mind thinks um, my mind thinks of Ninja Gaiden. Well, I don't need evidence. Because I was there. Objection. I am the evidence. However, the rest of us in this courtroom were not. If the defense fails to provide evidence in the support of this rash claim, we shall have no choice but to toast your incompetence and move on. Evidence that there were two, that these two fired the gun before they left Wendy Banks that night. The court demands that all claims are, okay, hold up, before they lock me into this bullshit, let me see what I even got. All right. Oh, wait, evidence, don't we have, um, yes. Where is blood samples? From different people, yes. Blood samples should get me out of this. The court demands that all claims are affirmed with clear proof. Personally play? Okay, well then, yeah, Nino Kuni 2 and... I, well, I haven't played Nino Kuni 2, right? And I've only played a little bit of 1. But from what I heard from people is that 2 was... Not bad, but just a letdown from 1. Right? And all the other games are pretty good. You know, unless... Besides Gaijin 3, because I don't, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> XCOM's great, though. I love XCOM. What evidence will you show? I am going to show the blood sample. Take that! The evidence is in this portfolio. What? What on earth do you have there, Counsel? During the course of our investigation, we discovered a number of blood stains. Not trusting the police to do their job, they're trained to do. How arrogantly Nipponese of you. 
How fucking racist, man. Why is everybody racist in this game? Well, anyways, we analyzed all the blood samples we found and recorded the results in this portfolio. And you claim to have the evidence the court is demanding therein? Yes, my lord. No more dallying then. Dilly dally shilly shally as they say. That's a Final Fantasy VII. Fucking Avent Children reference. <laughs> Present the pertinent evidence at once. What do you have in your portfolio that proves these witnesses unloaded a firearm at the scene? Samo shows man fire the gunshot. That one, the one with the obvious fucking bullet. <laughs> like, the one with the bullet? Like, come on, man. What's that? Explain. It's a bullet with blood around it. Uh, but one had animation from Ghibli, and you just can't beat that. And Gaijin 3 is a... a I, I don't even know how to say that. Wuxi? 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 Wuxia? Genre RPG. What the hell is a Wuxia? I don't know what that is. Yeah, but Studio Ghibli did work on the first one. I don't think they worked on the second one. And I know for damn sure that they didn't work on that new mobile bullshit that got released. Right? Like, I, I don't know why they're trying to... Like, I think that game might have NFTs or some bullshit in it. I don't know. It's something stupid. They also have, like, a browser version of it, I think, too. I don't know. Uh, Chinese martial arts. <laughs> oh, you mean... <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it's all coming back to me, yeah. That's why they were called the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> and then they had that game based off a of thrill kill. Oh my god, it's all coming back to me. Fucking hate the Wu-Tang Clan. What is that? Explain. It's a photographic print taken at Wendy Banks Pawn Brokery on the day of the incident. From the scene of the crime it is... Yes, it is. It is, it is. A bullet hole. And if my eyes do not deceive me, it appears the bullet is still lodged there. Yes, as your lordship noticed, the bullet appears Mr. Winniebank's calendar. The date shown being the 16th of April, the very day of the pawnbroker's death. The incident occurred at one hour after midnight. But this indicates that the separate shot had been fired sometime after the calendar had been set to the 16th. That's right. And while it is irrefutable, the defense believes, this is credible evidence that the witness did fire a round from their gun in the pawnbrokers that night. Got him. Also, there's a goddamn mosquito in my room somewhere. Dude, I know the feeling because for some reason, I don't know what the fuck happened in my house, but for some reason, people, the summer hits, and then people just love leaving the fucking front door open at all times of the day, so now there's just a bunch of fucking, like, little baby mosquitoes in my room, like, fucking three times a day, and sometimes when I'm streaming or just generally chilling out and playing a game or doing whatever the hell it is I do, it just flies in front of my face because for some reason, bugs like to fuck around and find out. <laughs> know what I mean? Like, I don't get bugs. They're just like, let's fly in front of your face and see what happens, right? You got this, this, basically, I'm a titan compared to them and I'm just fucking swatting them out the sky. I hate those little fuckers. <laughs> Order. How does the prosecution stand, Lord Von Zykes? Let's see. Take a sip of my... Take a sip of my bubbly. <laughs> Get bubbling myself. If that is the direction my learned friend wishes to take. The prosecution has no objection. What? This man is going to set this place on fire one day, I swear. But you'll forgive me for flinging my hollow chalice. Why would you... It's not even hollowed. It's filled with wine. <laughs> Aside and discuss at the repurgency it exposed. Re repungency? Repungency. That's the word, repurgency. Repurgency is not a real word. I don't think so. Yes, on the night in question, these brothers entered the pawnbroker illegally. And like the bold baddie they claimed to be, opened fire on the new on the new arrivals before fleeing before fleeing back onto the streets. Take it easy there, governor. You're gonna land us in the soup. 
We had a deal. We weren't gonna tell them that detail. Tell them, Scully. Set the bloke straight. I have nothing to add. So he knew, did he? Von Zykes knew their testimony would almost certainly expose the, the extent of their crimes. It's a hollow chalice. It is. It would seem now that I owe my learned Nipponese friend a word of gratitude. What do you mean? What I mean is that you have healthily confirmed an important fact. To what fact do you refer, Lord Von Zykes? As has been established at the point of their arrest, a single shot had been fired from the brother's gun. However, that shot found its target in Mr. Sloan's. Then clearly, these witnesses cannot be accused of the fatal, shooting, fatal, the fatal shooting of the proprietor and victim. I knew you were gonna go that route. I felt it in my bones, but fucking Zykes, he's like, if they shot that, they couldn't have possibly shot the other guy. Right, you know? In other words, these two men have no, have no martial, martial? Marital? My bad. No marital connection to the murder, I can't speak, to the murder of Mr. Winnie Pigs at all. Hollow means that it has great importance, not that it's empty. You know what? You're right about that, but also English sucks. <laughs> you forgot about that important detail. The language where we have there, 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 and might, and might, and fucking a bunch of other stupid words. Every language has words like these, but, you know. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy's playing patty cake and shit? <laughs> That's it. We didn't have nothing to do with it. We didn't, Nash. We didn't. That's what I reckon. Your crimes include, your crimes include unlawful entry, intent to steal, perjury, and, let us not forget, attempted murder. Quite a catalog, eh, fellas? We're in for it now, bruv. Now then, let us take a moment to consider the aforementioned great detective, Mr. Herlock Schlumps. I love correcting people on how to speak three languages <laughs> in a trench coat. <laughs> Jesus. I wish I fucking... I could, you know, I could have been bilingual, right, as a kid, because I did, because I do have, uh, you know, on my, on my father's side, they're all Spanish speaking, but I just didn't use it that much as a kid, and then over the years, I had no reason to use it, and I lost all ability to speak Spanish. I kind of like, now if I'm like, I can't read Spanish, but if someone's talking to me, I can kind of get the gist of what they're saying, right? But it's not like I'm translating any of it, it's just like... I guess I can kind of read their body language or something like that, you know, and like, the, uh, the, uh, uh, what you call it, connotation of their voice, Con is connotation a word I'm looking for? Probably not. I'm using big words that I don't even fucking know the meaning of. But if you use them with a bunch, with a, with a bunch of confidence, people will think that you're smart. <laughs> Just fake it till you make it, am I right? Let's take a moment to consider the aforementioned great detective Mr. O Mr. Herblock Schlones is. It would seem the man, the man, uh, pa patronized, I can't, why did I forget how to say that word? The man patronized the pawnbrokery in question somewhat regularly. Where is he going with this? Mr. Sloans appears to take pleasure in tinkering with eccentric machinery. Eccentric? Says who? Not me. Don't give me that look. He installed a pair of machines like this one in the victim shop. Oh. That's one of Hurley's red-handed recorders. What is that, Council? It has the appearance of a photographic contraption. As your lordship has summarized, it is indeed a camera attached to a small timing device. Even half an hour. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I got like fucking something in the back of my throat. Jesus. Take a sip of my water. I don't fucking... That came out of nowhere. <coughs> I hope it wasn't too loud because I didn't mean to do it directly into the microphone, Jesus. Every half an hour, it automatically photographs the interior of the establishment. The idea being, if a thief were to break into the shop, he would be caught red-handed. Hmm. The prosecution has obtained the photographs taken by this device at the night in question. 
See, I was looking for these fucking photographs, right? It's gonna show Gina going into the room, right? Okay, as the court will observe, copious, uh, copious identical prints. Copious? Yeah, copious. Identical prints are produced in a quite, uh, disillusionary- uh, fuck. Dizu- I can't say the word. Dis- mm. Dizu- Dizulator- I can't say the fucking kill me. You know what I mean? We got the- got the photographs, that's all that- that's all that matters, yay! <laughs> Alright. Rather prodigal- I don't even know that word either, fuck. Rather prodigal, I feel. In fact, there are two such devices in the victim's shop, my lord. Big words are scary. If I- this is why- this is why you don't give your children tablets before the age of 10. <laughs> so they can learn how to read properly. If I may refer to the court, to the plan, uh, to the plan of the premises, their respective positions are here and here. You say these cameras produce a print every half an hour. I'm afraid I failed to see how that would help. How that would help if the if the end end fuck. Why can't I say the word? What what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? How that would help if the anticipated. That's the word. I'm sorry. Fucking my mind. My mind is like going blank now. How that would help if the anticipating thief conducted his activities in one of the many 30 minute intervals. God, I am. I am losing it. One can only pray that the would be criminal lingers, my lord. Hmm. On the night in question, the witnesses currently in stand were not caught on the camera. Hey, that's a bit of fair tuck. Luck. Hey, bruv. Lady Luck loves us skulkins. Witnesses, at what time did you trash did your trash passing begin? Eh? Must have been just uh, after one, right, bruv? Must have been Nash. Must have been. Yeah, just gone one. In which case, minutes before these brothers entered the establishment, what scene might we expect to see within the shop? Let us examine the evidence. My lord. It's... It's the defendant. Now, Gina... Why are you holding a gun? By the way, can... Forget everything in this photograph. I want to take... I want to take big note of one thing that sticks out in a lot of detail in this photograph. And that's the picture of the motherfucking dog on the desk. Why is that so clear? Someone must really love their dog. <laughs> Miss Gina Lestrade. Come on, Gina. What the hell are you doing? What was your plan? What did you do? As the court can clearly see, the accused is the accused is pictured, gun in hand, facing the victim over the shop counter. No doubt, coercing the proprietor to open the door to his storeroom. What? White. One can only too easily imagine the events that unfolded. The court will take the photographic print as evidence, if you please, counsel. Gina, what the fuck were you doing? I don't believe it. Chinny. Well, believe it, short stuff. Jesus. In short, the accused is the only person who could possibly have killed Mr. Windybanks. I say, my lord. Herlock, is that you? Oh, okay. Wonder if I might put in a word at this point. Go ahead, Mr. Foreman. To a bol uh, to a bolly bullet to the knee and wow. Took mm. took a bolly bullet to the knee in the Battle of Maiwand, 1880. Don't you know? Decorated for it and all that, but forced to retire from service, sadly. Of course, a medal can never outshine the exploits of chaps like us on the battlefield. Yes, Mr. Foreman, and what exactly is your point? Carried on the battle after retirement, you see? 
the battle of daily life, if you, if you like. And here I am now, leading this small squadron, six men, all good and true. And well, and we'll all go down together. You mark my words. One for all, and all for one. So I guess what he's saying is that, is that he has to convince everyone? The ladies and gentlemen of the jury have reached agreement, have they? Is that what are we to understand? Well, Mr. Foreman, is that correct? In a manner of speaking, yes. This is the Gary Depp Squadron's position, sir. What? No. It's too soon to make judgment. Status report of the court, men, on the double. His lordship insists on promptitude at all times. And that goes for making decisions, too. I think you'll find the truth is as clear as day now. I could reach out and touch it. I wouldn't have left it there. I just wouldn't. But in all honesty, I can't actually remember. Situation clear. Stop. No room for doubt. Stop. Truth now. Undetainable. Stop. That guy's just a fucking dictator. <laughs> he has a pet mouse. Can you trust him? I'm, I'm very sorry for brothers. Wait, what? I'm very sorry for brothers. They are unlucky. Very well. I now call upon each member of the jury to state his or her lean, uh, leaning on the matter. Announce your considered verdicts to the court. Guilty. 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 Fuck you guys. <laughs> Guilty. That was my favorite one. It does indeed appear that the jury is unanimous in its leaning already. That photograph. It must be the definitive evidence that Gregson mentioned. But Jenny didn't shoot him. No, of course not. My lord. The defense wishes to assert its rights to a summation examination. Very well. The court grants permission. So... You refuse to admit defeat. Again. How unsurprising. We shall proceed immediately with the summation examination. Mr. Foreman, are all the members of the jury ready? Absolutely, Ludwig, sir. Always ready for action, my chaps. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will each explain on what grounds you have determined the defendant to be guilty. All right. Judicial findings. All the evidence clearly points to the finger of the guilt at this young pickpocket eating. As a housemaid, I should like to see all filthy eyesores promptly and rigorously eliminated. I think you find that if you look at the photograph in stereo, the truth will just pop out. If I have left it in there, I should think there'll be repercussions by now. Mind made up. Stop. Global radio transmission of verdict, of verdict to follow. Stop. In Motherland, we say never judge by clothes, judge by head. I am, I am convinced brothers are incident, or incident, are innocent. When I say incident, ugh. hmm. Circumstances of the crime and the evidence do indeed implicit. The defendant rather, oh, uh, my bad, implicit, uh, implicate the defendant rather comprehensively. The storeroom, locked from the inside, in which the victim and the accused were discovered alone. And in the accused's hand, the fatal revolver, the firing of, uh, the firing of which was heard by these witnesses. Not to mention this print. Take it from a chap who sees action on the battlefield. That young girl's on the verge of pulling a, a bully trigger. Why didn't they just choose the word bloody, you know? The bloody trigger. Thanks a lot, Mr. Slums. Oh dear. Well, these cameras were supposed to help, not hinder. I'm afraid I think you have an uphill struggle ahead of you. But, Gina didn't shoot Mr. Windybank. Which means there's more to this situation than we have yet to see. Agreed. 
You have the floor, Council. Proceed with the summonation examination. All right. All right. Let's see how we can turn this around. Let us check the court records. Hmm. I actually, I haven't had a full view of the gun myself, right? But I highly doubt that there's anything that I can really make out from this. Hmm. Can't find anything out of place. Yeah. As for the photograph, check out this magnifying glass. What is going on? Look at that dog. Hmm. Is that cat down there? What could possibly be happening right here? Okay. Alright, let's see. All the evidence clearly points. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then we would have to press them on it. So, first of all, I want to know what the fuck you're talking about, because your head's not in the game. Um, what exactly have you been muttering about all this time, sir? You keep talking about having left something somewhere, or something like that. Ah, oh, so sorry. As you can probably tell, I'm a surgeon. A surgeon? That totally passed me by. Of course, people conducting surgery in this country aren't considered to be doctors. Oh no. Even though me and my kind are at the forefront of medical science, the real brains in the field. So, what is it that you think you left behind? Ah, uh, well, that is a little embarrassing to be honest. You see, I was operating on someone yesterday. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. He was operating on fucking Holmes, wasn't he? Jesus. On Schlomes. Oh man, standard thing. Went in through the abdomen. But when I finished the procedure, I well I couldn't find my scalpel anywhere. What? Did he? Surely not. You didn't leave the scalpel inside of Shlomes, did you? Exactly, surely not, you say to yourself, don't you? Worrying, <laughs> worrying, isn't it? That's what's been troubling me this whole entire time. Could I really have left my scalpel inside the fellow's belly? No, of course I couldn't. So, there you have it. Like I said, a little embarrassing, really. That's one way to put it. The other is manslaughter. Oh, that's some body horror type shit. <laughs> no, man. Just stuck it in there, huh? That's exactly my concern. And seeing as this case appears to be all but sewn up, I need to focus on trying to remember exactly what I sewn up elsewhere. Now, I'm sure I made sure everything was back as it should be. Well, as sure as you can be without being sure. I'm sure you need to be more sure. Yikes. Mind made up, stop global radio transmission. Personal, why are you speaking in Morse code? I know you can talk. Sorry, radio transmission? What do you mean? Are you from the Far East? Stop. Yes. From the Empire of Japan. All communication with Far East nations used to take place by mail. Royal Mail Streamer... <coughs> Royal Mail uh, Steamer... Steamers? Sorry. Steamers take more than a month to complete the journey. Ah, but now we have the electric telegram, so we can send messages using electric signals. Thousands of miles of cable have been laid along the ocean's beds, connecting the entire world. Thousands of miles of cable? In the ocean's bed? Makes my head hurt just thinking about it. You are well informed, young lady. But cables will soon become a thing of the past. Stop. And just when I was starting to catch up. Radio transmission is the future. Stop. Messages carry over airwaves to four to four corners of the globe. Stop. Excitement growing. Stop. Atmosphere electric. Stop. Right. Try not to wear out your finger. Era of wireless telegraph. Stop. Driving technology revolution. Stop. And people say inventions like this, like the stereoscope, are the height of technology. 
What an utter pit! Oh wow. Okay. I can't understand it. I really can't. Hmm. Oh shit! Someone's got something to say. Go on, sir. I'm listening. Excuse me. Um, juror number three. Sorry to interrupt when you're obviously fuming, but what? Do you perhaps have something to say about juror number five's last remark? As if I couldn't guess. Oh, you bet I do. Say that again? Come on. I dare you. Goodness, are you talking to me? Ho ho, you're approaching me. <laughs> I think he just might I think he just might be, yes. You think stereoscopes are just toys, don't you? Absolutely, I mean, really, a machine to view photographs in three dimensions? What a fucking gimmick! <laughs> 3D will never catch on. It's a gimmick. I'm talking about you, James Cameron. <laughs> I'm talking about you, Nintendo. I'm talking about you, all you manufacturers of 3D televisions and the fucking 3D glasses that only got used for a total of five games on the PlayStation 3. <laughs> you can play Sly Cooper 3 in 3D. <laughs> fucking. God damn it. That went nowhere, right? Why on earth would you not just use your eyes to look at the world around you? It's all three-dimensional. What a great way to appease the man. No, I'm sorry. Stereoscopes are of no particular use at all. You just don't know. Pardon? I think you'll find the viewing a photograph through a stereoscope can unlock all sorts of possibilities. I'm obviously going to have to demonstrate. What sort of possibilities? Well, take a crime scene, for example. If you had a pair of photographs from a crime scene that you could view through a stereoscope, it could reveal hidden clues you've never have noticed before. What? Have you got any, Bruno? Any prints you could look at with a stereoscope? Do I? I mean, I think I only have one with the cat, right? I mean, we have this, but I highly doubt it's like stereoscopic. Don't you need like two photos? Oh, we do have two photos. Never mind. Yeah, we have photos taken by two angles. Yeah, definitely do. How about this print here? Should do the trick. Take that! All right then, juror number three. Are you saying you can do this with any two suitable uh, suitable photographic prints? Of course I can. Very well then. I'd like to use your demonstration. I'd be delighted to. Just give me one more print. Oh, we don't have the second one. Hmm. Yeah, I assume that we would have like both of them on us. Photograph taken automatically by showing the scene in the short. Yeah. Damn it. That sucks. Right? Review scene. Which one the question? I mean, I guess I can select it again, but I highly doubt that we have any, uh, you know. Wait, sorry? What do you mean, one more print? Oh dear, oh dear. Don't you have these in the Far East? Do you know how stereoscope, uh, stereoscope works? Bruno, what? You need two photographics, uh, photographic... Photographics, why did I say it like that? Two photographs for the stereoscope, remember? Yeah, I know. You don't gotta fucking explain it to me, I know, okay? One for the left eye, one for the right. I know, okay? Oh yes, I remember now. But the print we have from the pawnbroker is just a normal photograph. No, no, no. I think you'll find that the clue is is in the name. Stereoscopic, not a mi not mo fuck. Stereoscopic, not monoscope. Stereoscope, not monoscope. I'm sorry. You always need two prints. Thanks for the friendly explanation. Hmm. Well, if we do obtain another print at some point later in the trial, we can always show it to this young man then. 
look at him all happy. I think you'll find you'll find that know it all expression is really starting to annoy me. Let's get back on track, shall we? Okay. All I need is another shot. Well, if I press this, right, then probably maybe Von maybe Von Zykes can hand me the uh, you know. They really show new clues though. Don't know unless you try. How about it? Oh, all right. Well, yeah. They're not gonna. Okay. I thought if I pressed it, it would just continue. Okay. Well, I'll just skip this because we'll get nothing out of this. It just repeats what the hell he said before. All right, cool. So I think I need to press, um, what's his name? Mr. Gerdeb. Mr. Moon Man. Back to the trial. Okay. You? All the evidence clearly points the finger of guilt at this young pickpocketing, pickpocketing, whatever the hell. You're Mr. Natsume's landlord, Mr. Yerdeb, aren't you? You really must stop meeting like this. Ah, you're the lawyer chap. Well, there's a turnout for the books. Yes, rather a turbulent time we had back then. Some extraordinary events took place at your house, that's for sure. Luckily, Mr. Slums and I were able to get to the bottom of it all. I think we did ra I think we did fuck, I think we did rather a lot for you, didn't we? I mean, obviously. I wouldn't be suggesting that therefore you should change your leaning to not guilty or anything. Hmm. Can't be denied, I suppose. The cause of the Gearedeb house of the cause. The curse of the Gearedeb house was the talk of the town after that business. Lodgers moved out. I couldn't get a, bo a bolly salt to take up the tendencies. Oh. I haven't had the heart to break the news to Joni to Joni yet. Bad enough that the old girls clapped up. Yes. Can't be denied. You did do rather a lot. But not for us. That's for that's for Dash certain. Jesus. I suppose not. Of course. There can be no suggestion of that being the reason I'm leaning towards guilty here, obviously. Obviously, but honestly. I really wish he paid more attention to the trial and less to juror number two. As a housemate, I should like to see filth and eyesores promptly and rigorously eliminated. So why did you keep looking at number two? Trying to cheat on your wife? Polishing the bench, I see. Maid's work is never done. Not a blemish must re must remain. Hmm, what exactly do you mean by filthy eyesores? On my way to the market of his lordship, I have to pass through the east ends. The place is filled with beggars, pick purses, and, co and crossmen. The scum of the earth. A little harsh, perhaps? Let me be plain. If it were up to me, all those backs, all those back slums, would be made spick and span or eradicated. Yikes! <laughs> at least we have people like the great detective working to achieve these important goals. You're referring to Mr. Herlock Slums. That's right. I like to keep, I like to keep abreast of his exploits by reading. Uh, by reading Rad's magazine in between my duties. He does wonders cleaning up London streets. In my opinion, he should be declared an honorary maid of the capital. Mr. Slums, a maid. It's really quite unforgivable. Better scum having the audacity to shoot our very great detective. Minor detail. It was the two brothers in the stand who shot Mr. Slums, not the defendant. Minor detail indeed. They're all gutter scum as far as I'm concerned. Ooh. Well, this might be- What is with people in this fucking game? It's like almost every character in this game 
is like prejudiced in some way like very hard like hard prejudice if they don't if they don't hate the poor then they hate the rich and if they don't hate the poor or the rich then they hate everyone who comes from japan <laughs> like that's that's your only options in this fucking game well just might be an idea to get our facts straight away yes all right like realistic I, it's like if you if you don't hate the person that got more money than you then you hate the person who has less money than you and if you don't hate either of those then you're just a fucking racist <laughs> like what the hell man oh uh, all we're missing is like the one character who's like super sexist haven't seen that person yet but you know they'll show up sometime soon like damn like even people in like the original Phoenix Rise wasn't this bad. Just just fucking straight out with it. Alright. Yes, alright. I shall amend my statement. Those brothers are the scum of the earth. They should swing for shooting the great detective. <laughs> they should swing that's so fucking brutal. Not even they should hang. She's like, no, they should fucking swing. I want to watch their lifeless bodies fucking move to and fro. Like, what the hell? Although hating the rich is based. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, and what about you? In Motherland, uh, never judged by clothes, judged by head. I am convinced brothers are innocent. Hold it! You're a dictator, my guy. Please tell me you're not. <laughs> I'm happy Ryunosuke is just like, my guy, are you, are you a fucking dictator? <laughs> Please tell me you're not. You're not Vlad and Broshkev. Broshkev, the Russian revolutionary. My bad, he's not a dictator, he's a revolutionary. My bad, forgot that. All I know is he's a wanted man. Revolutionary? Da, I believe there is such a rumor. It's just a rumor. As you see, I have unfortunate appearance. I look like, I look like a cautious criminal. What, washes? Quite wick, wickish? I, I don't know, I'm a, I don't know. I look like a criminal. Your word's not mine, buddy. Just want to point that out. People call me revolutionary, murderer, autocrat. And which glove fits? Good day. I'm Whistling Landing for sightseeing. I would like to take bus to Crystal Tower, please. Why are you saying that phrase over and over? That sounds like, that sounds like something a terrorist would say. <laughs> Hi, I'm here from other country. I would like to see the way to the White House, please. Like, <laughs> do you know anything else? No, that's all I want. That's my mission. Right, that didn't sound staged at all. You'll forgive me for having my doubts. To be treated like a vicious criminal all, uh, all the time. It is very painful. People do not realize. So I have much sympathies for these brothers. People say they are criminals only because of how they look. The Sulkin brothers? Nah, maybe they went inside pawnbroker shop. But they have done nothing wrong besides shot a man. That is all what I want to say. The Sulkin brothers did nothing wrong that night. Alright. Well, first of all. That one not so little misunderstanding I'll need to clear up straight away. Tell me something, Iris. Hmm? What is it, Runa? The jurors are chosen at random from the inhabitants of London Town, aren't they? Yeah, wait a minute! There, shouldn't the jury- Yeah, the jurors should be chosen from the citizens. Right, should be ch chosen from the citizens. Why the fuck is he on the stand? I wouldn't assume he- He looked like he just came into the country. I highly doubt he's a citizen, right? Yes, it's amazing, isn't it? In that case, how is it that there's a Russian tourist sitting amongst them who looks for all the world <laughs> who looks for all the words like a revolutionary? I wish I knew. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is he up there? If I can't change the minds of more than half of these six people, then the trial will be over. But we know that Jenny would never shoot anyone. Yes, so we need to find contradictions in what the jurors were saying to pit them against each other. I got it. I must be ready to... 
I must be ready to go whenever link uh, ready to go whatever links I fuck I can't even read no more I must be ready to go to whatever links I have to convince them of Gina's innocence okay well I'm definitely gonna pit wait hold up all the evidence are clear point well I mean Mr. Garadev and the doctor doesn't seem to really have anything to get pit against and you two are obviously just like, you know, you two are obviously just at each other's throats. So just have at it. Those two statements clearly contradict each other. Sorry, old bean. Oh shit, never mind. They have to contradict. You can't just like. Point. Okay, yeah, okay, I got it. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. I got it. Hold up. All right, I got it. All right, chill out. Chill out. Got a little gung ho there. Hmm. I wish there was a way to like skip the dialogue faster, so I don't have to fucking sit here and be berated by every character in the game when I get one thing wrong. All right. <laughs> hmm. How would I get the print for you? And I can't just like percent evidence can I like just straight up just hand it to them let me see court record examine people um no. all right well let's just read what they're saying in motherland we say judge proposed uh, convinced the brothers are innocent well I mean these brothers are scum of the earth so Objection. that should be easy right there this two statement clearly contradict each other good lord Counsel, explain yourself. Oh my, my statement contradictory. Contradict. Come. Hmm. Juror number six, you got the wrong end of the stick, buddy. I do not have stick. I have mouse. Little mouse. His name is Stort Little. As juror number two said earlier, when the Sulkin brothers fled the scene of, of the night in question, they fired a shot from their revolver. Yes. They shot poor Mr. Sloan's in the abdomen, I understand. Surely, you're not gonna tell the court now that you didn't, that you didn't hear. Abdomen, abdomen. Sir? Sorry, sorry. My English is still learning. You are telling the court that you didn't hear. Forgive me, I did not hear. Ah, here is word, abdomen, heart of a person's body containing stomach and other vital organs. Is this what you mean? You should say in plain English, I am Russian, not native speaker. Who thought it was a good idea to let this man be on the jury again? So, you are telling me these brothers would look like criminal, these brothers who look like criminals are lying. They said before, they never done nothing wrong, but truth is, they shot detective. Duh, this is double negative. Yes, that's exactly right. Oh my god, don't kill the mouse, Jesus. Lying is wrong, especially when lie is said by a person who look like criminal. Coming from you, that seems surprisingly prejudiced. This means, when they say we never took anything, maybe it was also a big fat lie. It is true. Well, according to the police reports, no stolen goods were found, so... Enough! I trust no order now! Okay. It's not the mouse fault, sir. I must see with own eyes. I must investigate crime scene myself. I'm afraid we won't... Yes, it is, Reno. Easily. Sorry? Well, I do have the picture of the crime scene, and I do have the picture of the man with the fucking bullet in his back. With the prints from Hurley's red-handed recorder. Huh? If you compare the prints, uh, if you compare the print, fuck, if you compare the print that pictures Ginny and the next print from half an hour later, you'll be able to see straight away if anything was stolen or not. Cooey? Mr. Prosecutor? Cooey? Tut-tut. Calling on prosecution in the middle of the summation examination of all times. Print showing the accused threatening the victim after she broke into the shop is this one. 
Following this, the victim and the accused moved into the storeroom. Meanwhile, the Sulkin brothers entered the shop in some, in some, in some, fuck, some rarely, some rarely, some rarely, can't say the word, you know, summarizely, I don't know, heard the, heard the fatal gunshot ring out. Sadly, none of these events were captured on film. This is the print produced by the camera half an hour later, after the brothers fight, fight, flight. So, this was taken after Hurley was shot, then. As far as I can tell, nothing has been taken. It doesn't seem to be the case. I can't notice anything this obvi that's obviously missing in the second print. So, the brothers who look like criminals told only one lie. They shot the man, but they stole nothing. It would seem so, yes. Good. No, not good! You are right. I did not understand the situation. Now I know brothers have lied. I think it is very important to continue with trial. <coughs> Alright! We did it! Yay! We're done, Runo! The balance has shifted. No, we have to get three of them. Well, it's a start, I suppose. But, there must be more than what these jurors are saying that I can use to expose the truth. And if I can do that, we just might turn the situation in our favor still. Thank you, Counsel. Continue with the summonation, examination. And kindly hand the new photographic print to the bailiff to be filed as evidence. Oh, shooting. Photograph taken automatically by the... Okay, thank you. Another print in the court records. I wonder if we can make use of that. You're damn right we can. You, sir! Hold it! I now have two prints for you. Alright. The first one. Take that! The one with Gina. Alright. And the second one. The one without Gina. Take that! Now let's see what we can find. Alright, these two these two prints were both taken with the same camera, Wendy Banks, on the night in question. Yes, I see. Tell me, Mr. Um Lawyer. Do you know how stereo uh, stereo fuck how stereographic images work? Do you understand the principle? Yes I do. Well, I think so. I did have a lesson only yesterday. Time to go over how it works again for the fucking fifth time. The left and right images need to be the same, only with a slight shift in positions of some of some objects. Then, when your brain merges the two images together inside your head and notice the shift. Oh, are they telling me I can't use the other one because Gina's not in it? Yes, exactly. It's that small shift between certain objects in the two pictures that is really important. So, what happens if you use two photographs that are exactly the same, then? No, no, obviously that wouldn't work at all. Not for seeing the scene three-dimensionally, anyways. Oh. Oh? Of course. Now I see. Ah, oh, I think the young girl has discovered the secret. I have, I have- Jesus, Iris. Can you uncross your eyes before you tell me? Have another look at these two pictures from Hurley's camera, Runo. Go on. Okay. Can you see that there's a that there's a real obvious difference? Hmm. We'll merge it together. Of course there is. There are two people in the first, and no people in the second. Yes. You can see it straight away, but now. Try looking at the pictures in three dimension. Alright. I'll give it a go. So, to start with, you have to cross your eyes, and then try and make two pictures overlap exactly. Let's see if, by crossing my eyes, I can make a quill- I can make a quill pen from each picture overlapping in the middle. Wait. Huh? Well, did you manage to- HOLD UP! WAIT! 
Did they want me to cross my... Fuck you, I'm not doing that. <laughs> what? Wait, no, not really. Explain it to me. Just not very good at this. That's the trouble. No, don't worry. I have just the thing. I'm about to say, ain't no fucking way you're like, Now kids at home, cross your eyes. <laughs> fucking give yourself a migraine. I happen to bring with me a portable stereoscope. I know I mentioned this yesterday, but if you had that contraption with you from the outset, you could have saved me staring at Mr. Wendy Biggs and Gino like I like I hate them all the time. <laughs> Jesus. And if you remember, I said in reply that it's much more satisfying to be able to see the effect with your own eyes. Anyways, why don't we try using this helpful little aid now? Here it goes. What am I looking at? Now let's see what we got. Wait, look at that. Huh? What, what's going on with these two pictures? Some, some of the things on the counter sort of, they just sort of jump out at you. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at it. <laughs> the judge is like, huh? All right. Although hating the... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I read the same fucking comment twice. <laughs> I thought a new one was at it. Oh, let's see. The other amazing power of the stairs go. Other amazing power. Oh my fucking god. They're gonna do this for every character. Someone gonna explain this black magic? Why the deuce do... <laughs> Why the deuce do some of these things out of the corner seem to jump out at you like that? Hmm. I think you'll find that if you consider the basic principle of the stereoscope, you'll answer your own question. Basic principles of the stereoscope. As I said before, if you try to look at two identical pictures using stereo blah, 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 using the stereoscope, it wouldn't work at all. It's the slight shift in the positions of certain objects that let you see pictures three-dimensionally. Oh, so that means someone okay, that means someone moved those objects just slightly so something on that table was touched in other words even though at first glance it seems the objects on the counter haven't moved at all between the two pictures hmm let me actually see if I can check it with my own eyes like not cross my eyes but like at the pictures do they did they actually like slightly move the items they totally did. They totally did. I can see it right off the bat now, now that I'm actually looking at it. If you look at the, um, like below the doll, the two, like, pieces of paper, the one on the left, it's closer to the ledge, and the one on the right, it's more over to the side. So it is slightly moved. Shows that exactly there must have been a slight shift in their positions. Yes. Hmm. Didn't I catch that on the first glance? Yes. Must have been. Now hold, now hold fire there. Got a reasonable grasp of the of the whole cross-eyed business now, I'd say. But why the devil does the shift between the two prints exist in the first place? Because that means somebody took something or touched something. Well, what's the, <clears throat> well, what's the answer, fellow? Come on, you're the cross-eyed master. What me? I have the first idea. You know, Bruno, it's quite simple. It is. Just think it through, step by step. The first photograph was taken at 1 a.m. Then, 30 minutes later, uh, the second photograph was taken. But the position of some of the items on the counter appeared to be shifted slightly. So that means... It means that sometime in half an hour interval, someone must have tampered with things on the counter. Zonkers! Zonk <laughs> Zonkers? Zookers. Someone tampered? New information. Stop. Not mentioned in testimony so far. Stop. Yes. We've had to go around in circles a little here, it seems. But I'm starting to see what I should be aiming at in this summonation examination now. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the question now is clear. We know that the items on the countertop were moved, but by whom? Are you? Are you suggesting you might know? Of course. I can tell you right now who's responsible for for almost, uh, you know, changing the items or whatever the fuck. Uh, I... I mean... He's the younger one? <laughs> I mean, the obvious answer would be to say these guys, but... Is that really true? Someone else could have been in there. No, you know what? Yeah, these guys. I just... I guess it doesn't matter who you choose. Take that! It was the witnesses currently in the stand. The Sulkin brothers. Wait. This does not agree with what brothers said in testimony before. They said they did not even have time to pull Dukes from Lucky Lockets. My phrase book says Dukes is meaning hands and Lucky Lots a uh, Lucky Lockets. Uh, fuck, I can't read. Lucky Lockets is meaning pockets. Polly in your pocket. But this, another lie. Is this what you are saying? Yes, I'm afraid so. Now hold on a minute there. You can't be sure of that. I quite agree. The accused is a common pick purse, after all. It's perfectly possible that she went through the things on the desk to see what she might have stole. I think that's unlikely. And why exactly? As you can see from this photographic print, the defendant was pointing a gun at the victim. It would seem, as my learned friend indicated, that she... Now he's saying my learned friend. Jesus, fuck. As my learned friend indicated that she was coercing Mr. Winniebanks to open the storeroom door. In other words, Ms. Lestrade's interests lie within the storeroom and not in the main shop. Giving her no reason to touch anything on the counter. All of which points to one thing. The Silken brothers have omitted key facts in their testimony. But the accused is a big purse. Common gutter trash. <laughs> Common gamer trash. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> Jesus. You filthy casual gamer. <laughs> why look at a, why look any further on on the wrongdoer here? Because the Sulkin brothers are thieves, madam. No better, in fact, worse than a pig purse. I believe that these brothers are looking for something on the victim's counter that night. <laughs> uh, gamer? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it would, uh, it would condemn the defendant on the grounds that she's a pickpocket. Would it not at least be right and proper to thoroughly scrutinize testimony given against her by two thieves? Well said. I, for one, would like to hear more from the shady pair. <laughs> you slam your face on the desk. Guilty. Yes, you all see now. I think you'll find stereoscopes aren't playthings. You've seen their extraordinary potentials firsthand. Guilty. <laughs> Not guilty. Wholeheartedly agree. Stop. But you know what? Whenever I see Moore's code, I can't help but think of Zero Escape, and I, I gotta fucking finish the Zero Escape series. God damn it. <laughs> uh, must purchase after trial. Stop. We'll return home via Regent Street. Stop. Not guilty. Hey, I did it. Fuck you, Foreman. Well, it would seem the trial has yet to run its course. The ladies and gentlemen of the jury have declared their inclinations via the mighty scales of justice. I hereby call the summation examination to conclusion, with the balance altered in the defense's favor. Two lean to guilty, four lean to not guilty. Accordingly, the jury is without consensus. And I order this trial to continue. Yay! Well done! Oh, by the way, what? You should hold on to this, Reno. You never know when it might come in, uh, come in useful. Come in useful. I guess you can say it like that. Twice in one trial would be unusual, surely, but all right. The stereoscope has been entered into the courtroom. 
Lord Von Zoinks? Who like Lord Von Zoinks, man? You will instruct the witness that the court demands additional testimony from them. Who like Zoinks, man? You're telling me they're guilty? I can't believe this, Scoob. I'm sure it wouldn't spoil the banquet to do so, my lord. I won myself another chance to probe, to probe, to probe that pair, <laughs> to probe that pair about their activities that night. And I won't stop probing. God, and I won't stop probing them until I've proven that Gina is innocent. Could have chose a different fucking word. To be continued, really? To be continued at that point? How many to be continues that we have in this chapter? I think this is like the third one. Save your progress? Yes, please. I would love to do so. Let us continue. Order, please. Let us resume proceedings. Witnesses, you will now retake the stand. Look how fucking shady they are. <laughs> Let me take a drink of my water. I presume you heard the defense's counsel's summation examination? Oh, yeah, Governor. I did, Gov. I did. Mr. and Mr. Slope. Oh, God. Mr. and Mr. Skulkin. This is gonna be hard work. Earlier in this trial, you gave the following testimony about your actions after you entered Windy Banks. Well, it was Bladim Bedlam. Bedlam soon as, weren't it? I, that's... God, these fucking... <laughs> these accents. It was Nash, it was. Didn't even have time to pull me dukes out of me lucky locks. However, that was a lie. You liars. You brothers. On the night in question, you rifled through the items of the victim on the victim's counter. We've never done nothing of the sort. All you figured that out. You will now give formal testimony once again. You will tell the court precisely what happened on the night in question, and this time, you will tell the truth. Each lie that passes your lips serves to increase the severity of your punishment. How does that not hurt? Like, how thick are those gloves? Are you wearing thick gloves? Shouldn't it stain all over? It's wine. It's wine and you're fucking around with wine with white gloves. Oh, it's making me mad. And that, gentlemen, may deal a crushing blow to your chances of ever seeing the light of day again. As the, as the worth... Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, as though, uh, fuck. As thought worth pon a thought worth pondering, perhaps. For some reason, I couldn't read. Maybe it's sugar glass? But that doesn't explain the wine, though. The red wine that goes everywhere. <laughs> you know? Wouldn't that just stain his white gloves? Say no more, Gov. We hear ya. We'll blab. We'll squeak. We'll peach. Start preaching. All right. We did knock a few things over, but we weren't rifling through nothing. It was what we've, uh, it's when we heard gunshots, see? Made both of us jump and all the stuff went flying. Blimey, it didn't have, it, it did, it did give me half a fright. I, we was thinking, the shooter came out the door and, get, and get us next. For some reason I had a hard time reading that. We stuck everything back there. Wait a minute. Hold up. In what fucking right not mind of anyone in the world do you hear gunshots in the next room and you go, Oh shit, I gotta put it all back where... Oh, I gotta put all the stuff that I knocked over back. No. The answer is the door is wide the fuck up and get the... Get the fuck out of there. Right? We stuck everything back where we found it. Scraper. Uh, scraper straight into... Uh, straight into... I am... What? Sh wait. Found it and, sc and scrapered straight into 
I'm in the black. What? I don't, what? I can only imagine that he has a mountain of discarded red stain gloves behind him. <laughs> He's like, nobody will see this. He has like a trash can, like, just right under him. We could have shot the pawnbroker, you see? We never had a chance, did we? Okay. Gotta decipher all that mess. So you admit to the defense's accusation. You did indeed ransack Mr. Winnie Banks' countertop. Mr. Winnie Banks' countertop that night in question. Uh, not ransack, Governor, no. That's right, Nash. That's right. It's more like we tidied up, yeah? Uh, sorry. By their own admission, these brothers entered the pawnbrokery under dubious circumstances. However, they panicked and fled on here and fled on hearing the gunshot, having first made good having first made good their mess. <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. No, I think what happened is that Gina and Wendy Banks were in the back, right? And and when uh, you know, when they came in, they didn't know they were back there, so they rifled through some things first, right? Grabbed something, and then on their way out, they probably heard a gunshot or some bullshit, you know? Something like that. But I don't, I don't think these two killed anyone. I think a third party that has yet to be discovered is the, uh, you know, is the culprit. The way you say, we hardly sound like, uh, sound like, uh, hardly sound like roughs at What's that all? Yeah. We don't, Nash. We don't. Can't make us sound a bit more cutthroat. Can't be just a coincidence that these men showed up at Windy Banks that night. There's more to their testimony than meets the eye. I'm sure of it. Okay. God, I love I love the stained glass background. All right, knocked over a few things, but we weren't rifling through nothing. When we heard the gunshot, made us both jump, and all the stuff went flying. All right, it didn't, it didn't half give me a fright. Lummy, it didn't half give me a fright. We was thinking the shooter would come out of the door and get us. It didn't half give me a fright. What the fuck? What? We stuck everything back. Well, first of all, I'm gonna press that because that just makes no fucking sense to me. It was the Clussy who shot Wendy Banks. Alright, listen. Besides this game, the only other Phoenix Wright game that I have played was the, well, the only other games that I have played was the, you know, first three in the uh, collection or whatever, which is on my YouTube if you ever want to check those streams. Um, but I did, I did notice on Twitter recently, maybe not as recently anymore, but definitely last week for fucking sure, that for some reason, everybody was talking about some fucking clown girl from one of the games. What the fuck is going on with that? <laughs> what the like I can't tell if people were happy about the character or mad about the character or something by the way w what is the deal with the character isn't that game like fucking seven years old now or something like that what, what's going on with that because she's hot wait so people were mad because she's hot <laughs> what Cause I saw people that's like, I love her. And then I saw a bunch of people going, I fucking hate this character. And I'm like, what, what's going on? What is this? Right? You know, if it's anything crazy, spoiler, spoiler, uh, spoiler ish or whatever, you know, if it's like a crazy spoiler or something. Then don't tell me, but you know, <laughs> but it can't be, I mean, nothing can beat fucking Iris, right? Yeah. Iris. Wait, no, not Iris. My bad. I'm sorry. Um, what's her fucking name? Dahlia, right? Iris is her sister. Nothing can beat Dahlia, right? Like, da I think Dahlia is one of the few characters that have fucked me up so much that just saying her fucking name makes me angry. I fucking hate that bitch. <laughs> I can't stand her. 
she's such a good villain because I don't like her. You know what I mean? You know when people have like a villain character that they like, but she's a villain character and I fucking hate her so much. God damn it. <laughs> I hate her so much. Makes me mad. Alright, yes. Whereupon you fired a shot from your own gun at Mr. Herlock Schlums. Oh, um, yeah. He was a bit hasty there. We was, Nash, we was. Truth be told, I was already shaking like a leaf when you turned up. If you're shaking like a leaf, don't put a loaded gun in your hand. Good advice, miss. Good advice. Truth be told, we might have went totally blank. Before your minds go blank, make sure you don't got a loaded gun in your hand. <laughs> Mental note, mate. Okay. After that, we legged it down the street. We legged it down the street, but apparently, we looked dodgy to the coppers, or uh, or some or summit. So, they clapped the they clapped the debris debris debris. What? They put the fucking cuffs on us. That's what they're saying. I don't know who she is. I don't know why she is. <laughs> I don't know why she. <laughs> all I know is that. <laughs> all I know is that I require the classy. You know what? I'm gonna be honest, I want to refrain from talking about the Clussy before I play that game, because at some point I'm gonna play all the fucking, you know, Ace Attorney games, right? But, you know, I, originally I was gonna go straight to the next games after the, um, after the, uh, original three that I did. I think I was actually gonna go to one of the Miles Edgeworth games, but, um, you know, then this collection got announced to come out, and since I know for a fact these games haven't been translated before, I'm like, let me play these first, right? That and their prequels, quote unquote prequels, I guess, because, you know, they take place thousands of years before, or whatever the fuck, or 500 years, or whatever the goddamn hell it is. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more Phoenix, right? You know? It's just that you have to space, yeah, I have to put space between the playthroughs because I can't just make my whole entire channel fucking visual novels. Even though I love them. I played Danganronpa on the fucking stream before. That was both a good idea and a bad idea. <laughs> like, apparently we look dodged the coppers, so they slammed the cuffs on us. And after you've been handcuffed, the police found this revolver in your possession, correct? Um, well, yeah. But listen, that, that proves it, doesn't it? prequels who says anything who says everything can't be visual models i mean they can be right well here's the thing here's to be fair right um <laughs> give me names no one said anything but it's more like a um it's already difficult enough right to like have a gameplay channel like in this day and age right um, hi, Michael Jackson. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Michael Jackson, I have a question. Why the fuck did you... What happened to the music in Sonic Origins, huh? Where the fuck is my ice cap zone, you bastard? <laughs> That's a little reference. The Sonic Origins collection in which they tucked the songs out the game because they have to pay the Jackson Foundation because apparently Michael Jackson worked on the music for Sonic 3. And now we have terrible music in those stages. Well, not terrible, just not as good, you know? Ice Cap Zone sounds... Come on, man, Ice Cap Zone, that's great. But, um... Yeah, the thing with the... It's already hard enough to have, like, a gameplay channel in this day and age where everyone and their mom wants to be a less player, right? And stuff like that. You know? And everyone's trying to be a quote-unquote influencer. But, um... That on top of, like... On, like, just... It, like... Whatchamacallit? Oh, thank you for following Thank you for follow, Jackson. Um, that and the fact that, like, just being a variety streamer on Twitch is, like, really not good for growth. But, you know, it doesn't really matter because I just like doing it in general. Uh, but visual novels are already, like, a pretty niche thing. So to have a niche within a niche is crazy. And on top of that, the games that I have streamed so far, which are all archived on my channel, you can check it out over there on the YouTube, is right there at the bottom. Gotta keep selling myself out, right? Um, it's like, I play, well, I have, okay, this, 
this playthrough I haven't archived yet, but I do have the streams like um, in a drive somewhere. Uh, I played Conception, right? Conception Plus or whatever. That game's basically a visual novel. I played Persona 4 Golden. That's a visual novel. I played Corpse Party. That's a visual novel. I played the three Ace Attorney games. That's a visual novel. I played Danganronpa. That's a fucking visual novel. Like, all these stories are great and shit. Well, maybe not Conception. That's more like, uh, you know, that's more like Otaku Bait type shit. But, like, all these stories are pretty good. But they're all fucking, like, so heavy on story that they're all practically visual novels. Right? And I have, like, played other games and stuff like that. Like, on stream, both on stream and just, like, as playthroughs on YouTube and stuff like that. But, like, you know, constantly doing visual novel after visual novel. Right? Like... I want to do it because they're great stories and they're fun to do and they're fun to talk about but a visual novel for like a let's play is probably one of the like most difficult things to do right like for example right now i think a sequel to what what's it called i the synaculum files or whatever the fuck like that just had a second game come out and i haven't even played the first game and i want to stream the first game w by doing a blind playthrough and shit but you know it's a visual novel like uh I think earlier this year, no not earlier this year, last year, I wanted to do a playthrough of Clannad because I never played Clannad, and then there were people that were excited for it, and I was like, oh Clannad, maybe it's like a 8 hour, 7 hour, something like that, visual novel, whatever, find out, if you play Clannad, you gotta play for like fucking like 20 hours of visual novel crazy shit, that game is so fucking long, and when I found that out, I was like, I can't do a playthrough of this, I can't stream this, it's, it's too much, it's too much, you can't go from phoenix right to clanad to persona it's just too much it's just too much right so that's why you gotta like space them out because not everyone wants to sit there and watch a visual novel they want to they want to know where call of duty shoot man is <laughs> that's a lie i don't i don't really play call of duty like that but you know what i mean right anyways that's my rant <laughs> we should have shot the pawnbroker wait what we couldn't have shot the prom broker, see? We never had a chance. Okay. So I pressed them on that. What the hell does he mean by this? So, you didn't try to open the storeroom door then. Not on your life. I went deathly quiet after that, I did. Put the wind right off me. But anyways, the door was locked. Where, uh, weren't it? Uh, no, oh fuck. No way that was open. Yes, of course. It was locked from the inside. Or, so we are led to believe. It was, Gov, it was. From the inside. Right. So we had no way of knowing what's going on in there, did we? Unless, there was some other way to get a view of the inside of the storeroom. Like opening the little slide door. Like through the keyhole, or a spy hole, perhaps. Don't ring no bells. Don't light no lights. What the fuck does that mean? We had to cut and run before we noticed anything like that. We're still <laughs> look how happy they are. <laughs> We're still cutting our teeth in the game, see? But one day. We really cut the mustard. What? Please, cut it out. But as we know, behind the door was the victim's lifeless body, with the accused not two feet away. Yes, unfortunately. Gina was in there, unconscious, with the gun in her hand. To confirm, would it be correct? Oh, by the way, I feel like I just gotta get this off my chest because you got me talking about visual novels now. <laughs> There's a visual novel that I really like, right? I really like it, all right? And if you read, you know, if you check my About Me on Twitch, you can read that I do play, uh, on my own time, I do play, like, Gal Game and Galgy or whatever and, and Edo Game and all that other bullshit, right? But there is a visual novel that has a, uh, you know, a safe for work version of it, I guess. It has all the, all the adult stuff taken out of it, right? And you can get it on Steam. And it's called Princess Evangel. And Princess Evangel is really good. It's even so good, in fact, that if you do play the adult version, that it will take you like a week of just playing that fucking game. Oh, for, forget about Nekopara. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> right. Um 
if you play like a week of that game, you won't even see the fucking, you won't even get to the sex scenes or anything like that. Because that game just throws story and story and story and story. And to be honest, that game isn't even that crazy with the story, right? Because it's kind of like a slice of life, you know? Um, but God, it's written so good, right? Holy shit. Like that was back when, um, I played that back when I was like in between jobs and it was the summer. So I had like a lot of fucking time. And I remember just waking up eating some food, taking a shower, you know, brush my teeth, do all that shit, and just sitting down to play the game. And I would kind of just do that for like a week straight. And I didn't even see like one fucking sex scene. And then when I got to the sex scene, I didn't even give a fuck about the sex scene because I wanted to know about what was going on in the story. I didn't give a shit no more. <laughs> I was like, I was like, can you guys stop fucking like rabbits now? I don't, I don't fucking care, right? That game is so good. There are four routes you can take. Um... And then as I was playing that, I still haven't finished that game, by the way, on my own time, right? So, so at some point, when I have the time for myself, I'm going to go and play it. But um, as I was playing it, I remember they announced a sequel called Princess Evangel with Happiness. And what that does is that for the original heroines in the game, it continues the story for them, right and if you haven't played the first game it continues from like chapter 16 or something and then it goes uh, with the rest of it but for the other characters who weren't heroines in the first game you click on them and it's basically like starting the fucking game over again it's crazy the game's so long uh have i ever played katawa shoujo actually no i have been recommended it but i never played katawa shoujo actually you know i'm trying to think of other shit i played <laughs> like I play like I mean I played Edogi, right? So take that as what you will. Um But yeah, I, I get it's a meme, but I actually do play it for the story. <laughs> Some of them got really good stories, man. You know? Let's see. Heard many good things about kind of a show. That's the one with the uh with the girls with disabilities, right? There's like the blind girl and the girl who's like an amputee and then um oh, what, what's the other girl i think one of them is death or something like that right what i say the name was again it's called princess evangel you can buy it on steam and i think last time i checked i think princess evangel with happiness which is the sequel i think that one was on sale but if you really want the adult version I mean, there. you can get any game free, you can pirate any game. I personally like to support the people, so if you really do want to go and buy it, uh, it's also on sale now. To, well, last time I checked, it was on sale. You can head to Manga Gamer, right? You know, and buy that game officially there, and I think it also might come with the Steam key if you buy it from there. I'm not sure, but man... I just remember when I sat down and played it, I was playing it for like a week and like, I forgot that I, I was even playing like an energy and then I got to the first sex scene and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then after, after that, every time they had sex, I was like, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Tell me more about this girl and her bitch of a mom. <laughs> like, <laughs> tell me more about this shit. Right. But it's really good. I remember rec recommending it to people. Right? Well, I recommend it to someone who said that they play visual novels, but I highly doubt they do. I think they were just saying it for, like, the lols. But, you know, the same person that's like, oh, what about Honey Pop? And I'm like, what about fucking Honey Pop? <laughs> that's why I don't, like, you know, that's why, that's why uh, the Sakura games and the Nekopara stuff, that doesn't really get to me because that's clearly, like, fucking, the writing in there is clearly just like, watch these girls do sexy things and i'm like i don't care give me a reason to care right chris and princess evangel gave me a fucking reason to care top 10 top 10 might be number one best fucking visual novel i ever played love it i played a lot <laughs> to confirm we would be correct to say that neither of you set foot inside the storeroom i had to get that off my chest i had to get it i need that game to get fucking sold more god i love that shit that's right, Gov. That's right. Could have had. Could have had. <laughs> I'm just remembering half of the things that happened in that game, and I'm like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> there's one girl that that you meet in that game and her one of her first reactions is to just take your character's finger and just start licking it and he's like what the fuck are you doing and she's like don't worry about it <laughs> what the hell he's like that's weird get away from me even the main character he's like what <laughs> could have even um couldn't have even if we wanted to shit um let's see also yeah it's wild that 4chan made a game that isn't a f flaming dumpster all right fuck i don't even fuck around with 4chan there's a lot of crazy shit going there have i ever heard of a small and are you really about to fucking say this to me right now have i ever heard of a small indie vn called fate you know anything about it first of all fate used to be indie it's not indie no more i've never played fate but i do know like around the time fate stay night was getting talked about like and i guess that's when fate started getting popular i remember looking at it and i'm like i'm like okay there's a lot of shit here maybe i'll get into it one day and then uh i remember looking at it and um i'm like wait a minute this anime started out as a fucking doujin <laughs> I'm like this series started out as a dojin? What the fuck is that about? Right? But yes, I do know about fate. I know of fate. I don't know about fate. Right? But yes, I know fate is a thing. Ask me about fate is like asking someone like, do you know about Bible Black? <laughs> like, yeah, I know about Bible Black. That guy had a shotgun. <laughs> It was when we heard the gunshot, see, so made us both jump and all the stuff went flying. Press on that. So, what you're saying is... The sound of the gunshot shook you as much. You knocked all those things off the counter. Well, it shook us. It shook one of us all that much, yeah? This, big un uh, this bag of nerves needs to learn how to keep his shirt on. Look, it was loud, alright? Blimey. My dead granny would have woken up. See? If you like VNs, you gotta play FGO. What is FGO? Left to go get food and I came back to that. What? Came back to what? Fucking Bible Black? <laughs> Have you heard of Bible Black? Uh, um, oh, it's a gotcha? Dude, for real? It's a ding as fuck gotcha, but God... Oh, man. Grand Fate Order. Grand Fate... I mean, Grand Fate Order. Fate Grand Order. Why does that... Hmm. Isn't... Correct me if I'm wrong. Because I think I actually saw an ad for this on YouTube. Aren't they celebrating their anniversary or some shit? They legit turned the last arc of the first arc into 24-episode anime. Oh. I mean, if there's a visual novel in an anime, I gotta read the visual novel first. You wanna know something that really sucks that was done stupidly? The Danganronpa series. There's an anime and a manga for fucking Danganronpa, Happy Trigger, uh, Happy Trigger Havoc, right? Uh, you know, Danganronpa 3 is an anime. Fucking, you have Killer Killer and all that other bullshit. But in Danganron what they got for Danganronpa 2 not counting v3 right what they got for Danganronpa 2 is that if you want the full story of Danganronpa 2 you have to play the game there's no manga for that right like there's manga for that but they're told it's kind of kind of spoilery to say this but you'll you won't get to the end of the story through those mangas because of the perspective that they're told by right so you won't get to, you won't see the ending of what happens to that story. So the only way to, to see the ending is to play a fucking game, right? And it's like, and I remember when people, when I, I knew some people who were getting into it, and I'm like, listen, you can't just watch the anime. It's not gonna, it's like, like you, like the Danganronpa anime goes by way too fucking fast that like character deaths mean nothing to be honest, right? And there's no good way of getting Danganronpa 2 unless you play the damn game, so you gotta play the visual novel. And most people aren't gonna play the visual novel, they're just gonna watch Danganronpa 1, and then they're gonna go straight to Danganronpa 3. <laughs> right? I mean, the last, uh, yeah, the fifth year anniversary, okay, yeah. But the story of, story of FGO, it takes a few chapters to heat up, but it heats up. 
Trust me, I can... Trust me, I give things a good college try, right? I got time, right? You're talking to somebody who plays Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> like, dude, I'm telling you, it gets better. <laughs> Come on, dude, just finish having sword. Just, just buy, just buy Shadowbringers. Just buy Shadowbringers, motherfucker. Just do it. Get the Shadowbringers. You're gonna be like, oh shit. <laughs> oh man, I love Final Fantasy. Jesus fuck. Uh, big brother here, big brother here screamed like a blooming baby all over the counter. Knocked over a load of books, a candlestick, and some skull and whatnot. Got tangled in some marionette. Knocked over a picture frame. What knocked the scales off the floor? You really master working quietly, then. What a racket! My granny would have been scared back in her grave at the clatter like that. So in short, gunshot took you by surprise. And then some. I mean, it was quite a. Right. Whoa. You got something to say there? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You seem to be a. Uh... You got something to say? <laughs> Inspector Gregson, do you have something to add? Like I keep saying, I don't appreciate being lumped in with these scoundrels. Hmm? No, something to add about their testimony. You seem to react just now at what Mr. Sulkin was saying. Did it make you think of something? It's probably nothing, of course. Man, I'm sorry. Dude. You got my mind on visual novels now. I want to do a playthrough of 999 so bad. Jesus, 999 is so fucking good. <laughs> I love 999. Man, it's probably nothing, of course. I wouldn't even bother to mention. I wouldn't even bother to mention it. But well, the fact is, uh, cases don't get solved if you ignore the little details. How about you just tell us what's on your mind? As you know, we brought these fellows in the yard for questioning last night. You know what, um... I keep getting off track. People are gonna hate me for this. What I'm trying to... What I really want right now... I know it's... It's kind of unnecessary. But... I have a... I have, you know, I have some VR headsets in here, right? And... I want a really good fucking visual novel for VR. I know you're basically just standing there pressing a button, but I don't give a shit. And I tried to play Tokyo Cronus, right? And oh my god, maybe it's just the PlayStation, because I have the PlayStation VR version of Tokyo Cronus, because that came out like way back when, when the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation VR was still kind of new. But um, I tried to play Tokyo Cronus, and the VR in that is like kind of garbage, honestly, right? It's not good VR. And the story itself is very fucking slow. And then they give you one character, you get used to this character, and then they take that character away, right? Um, and then after that, I'm like, the story just slows down again. Like, really to a crawl. Like, I can't finish that. I, I tried to finish Tokyo Cronus. I heard it was good, right? I heard a lot of people like it, and now they're doing, like, a fucking sequel for it or whatever, right? But, like, when I played it, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, man, the VR is so fucking bad in this game. It's not good VR. It's not good VR. It's bad. <laughs> uh, likely show off a picture of the size of the script of the second last chapter of the second arc, and it's massive. Dude, isn't the script for fucking Mass Effect, uh, is it Mass Effect 1 or 2, where it's like, the script is like the script is like a fucking giant stack of <laughs> like papers. I think it's for Mass Effect. Either that is like Dragon's uh like uh what you call it, Dragon Age or some bullshit. One of one of the Bioware games. I don't fucking remember. Uh as you know, we brought these fellows into the yard for questioning last night. And the statement they gave then then told a slightly different story to what they're saying now. Uh um it did it? You claim you heard the victim shout something out before the gunshot. Mm, we might have, uh, might have. Does ring bells now that you mention it? Granted, it's only a minor detail, but still, I can't help feeling the, I can't help feeling perhaps you would have been a bit, eh, fuck, would have been a bit sloppy with your testimony here, eh, fellas? If I discover the witness testimony has been any more sloppy than it has here, though. Here, here too, hither too, hither too. 
Either low, whatever the fuck, however the fuck you pronounce that. Uh, proven to be. I shall be forced to bring the very harshest punishment to bear to bear against them. I need a drink of my water. I'm gonna die. We get it. We'll get it right this time. Did I drink that water straight into straight into the mic? Because I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to drink straight into the microphone. Did I do that? I hope I didn't. That's it. That's it, yep. It's all coming back to me now. Then speak. Supplement your testimony with whatever details you have miraculously returned to your questionable mind, sirs. <laughs> right you are, Gov. I'm a chef, chef too. 